So if I'm here, I can get a shoulder here. I can pull him down better and pull him in the direction and set him up. How to move somebody into a uh, what we call a back grip. It's not quite a Georgian grip. A lot of people use the phrase Georgian grip. We'll show the difference real quick here. But uh, what we want to do is move him in a position where I can get my hand, my right hand, on his back and control him. So the idea here is this: when we're, we're coming here, and I want what I want to do. I want to kill the shoulder. In other words, I want to make the shoulder totally useless to him. And grab behind it and beat him, okay? So we're out here, we're gripping, we're fighting and everything, okay? Now, the, the basic way to do this is like grab here and pull him down and into me, and of course he'll resist and then you catch the back. Okay, that's the, that's the simple if we're just standing still in a static position. But that's hard to catch against a guy who's a, a willing, fit, and aggressive opponent. He's not going to just let you bend him over. So movement, your movement will help bend him over and make him move. So what I want to do is when I grab there, I can, again, look at my position. I'm not leaning same side, same foot, or doing this because he can foot sweep me, okay? So when we're gripping here, okay, leaning my right foot, my left hand is going to grab right about just high on the pec area here, at the lapel here, and I'm going to pop him down, and as I do that, okay, I'm going to start moving him to my right side here because what I want to do, I want to move him right into my power hand here, my right hand that will be on his back, okay? We'll get to different angles so you guys can see it. So we're gripping here like this, and I'm just going to move him around this way and catch him, okay? Yeah, don't move too fast on that joke because it blurs. So watch, watch it again. I'll do it from different angles here. So I grip him here, and I'm going to move him this direction, and I'm going to pull down at the same time. Move here and catch him right there, that hand right there. That's it. Now I don't need to reach over, do I? He's coming, I'm pulling him into my hand. We're fighting here. Catch it. It's that quick. And then from here, I've got this grip here. I cinch it down tight. Now, when I catch, I'm going to catch someone across the side here, maybe this lapel, something here. I'm going to catch over here and I'm going to come across body and hit a really nice harai or sotagari. Or you could set him up for like an uchimata harai to the more front direction. If I were doing that, coming in here and I move him around this way, bam, like this. Now, I keep pulling him down into it, catch, skip into my Uchimata. You could go that direction. You could take him directly forward. My preference always, not, no matter what weight class, is to go laterally because he's really not stable on his sides. He's very, quite weak, actually, so I like to do that. So when I'm, I'm gripping here and I catch this, pull him in and around my power hand, okay? And my power hand, by the way, I just grab around his delt here, like this. Don't grab too deep, you don't need to, because now I've given him some edge, I don't want to do that. So when I catch this here like this, and when I continue, he, he, or I might even have him here, and I can pull him up on this way and set him up. But generally, you'll do it one hand. Okay, so grip, the grip here, step him around, set your power hand. Now, catch it from here, slide over, catch something, catch the arm. You can control the elbow better because you squeeze them in tighter. And I step across and hit an osoto. Okay, now don't pull. Everything is in. That's the key thing here. I don't necessarily, when I, when I pull him in here, do all this good stuff here to set him up, I don't let him off the hook by trying to pull and step in because he'll block and cut away. I'm creating too much body space there. I want to keep him right on my hip. So I want a really tight, not tight in a bad way, but compact body space. And these are what we call short grips. These are short actions. I'm not, I'm not really pulling. Like here's a longer grip here. There's a lot of space here. There's a lot of compact, short space between our bodies. And that's because I'm controlling your shoulders. So here's what we're going to do, guys. This is what through. So we're fighting here. We're fighting here. I catch this, and as soon as see my position here, I'm going to pull him down and around to my right. I'll come back this way. So we can do Come back down, and then I'll pull him to my right, set him up in the power hand right here, come across, and throw him. Can you demo on? Watch how he moves him around. Move him around here, move him around to the right, step. There, that's what we got there, okay? That's what we got there. So do you see how he moves? Let's, let's analyze again. So watch this. He, now he pulls him in, steps across, and then left side of there, okay? So 
key things to remember. And a lot of guys will want to, let me have Mike just a second here. A lot of people pull a sleeve first. Well, there's a lot of space there. He can pull away, and I've lost my, my grip. So if I'm here, I can get a shoulder here. I can pull him down better and pull him in the direction and set him up. Okay, so that's why we're pulling higher on the lapel. Okay, that, now that's a good setup. It's a real good active, aggressive setup. It's quite simple. But everybody says, well, give me something complicated so I can really be confused. No, don't. Keep it as simple as you can to set him up, and then you can throw him with a really clean move, and you don't have to. Not a lot of steps here. It's just grab, spin, hit. So he grabs him, spins him, catches right there. Now if you want to do a forward Ichimata, you can do a forward Ichimata. We're just doing a side cross body Osoto type action, Haraigoshi type action. But you can come in the same thing with a forward Ichimata, Haraigoshi, any number of throws to the forward direction. Does that make sense? Let's go ahead and drill on that a bit, guys. That's just a tactical way to get the back grip. And just remember, this is your anchor hand. This is the hand you pull them and control them with initially. That sets the anchor, like putting an anchor in the in boat in the harbor. Okay, and then that pulls him right into the power hand, which is your strong usurite. Suck it in tight. And now, quick transfer, step in, and you take, make your attack. Okay, let's go get him. Let's try to grab him, spins him, catches right there. 